Welcome back to the Plus Side of Nashville, everybody. For seniors looking to stay active, 54 Donaldson Station Senior Center for the Arts offers a lot of fun activities. There's pretty much something for everyone. And here with more to talk about that is Angela Bryan, who's the center director, along with Jamie London, who's um, with the center's Larry Keaton Theater. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you, you so much Thank for having you. us. Well, I love talking about 54 because you do so much great things for the community and you offer so many wonderful, wonderful services. You receive national as well as local recognition for many mm -hmm. of your programs. So obviously you're doing something right. <laughs> Let's talk about some of those classes because if you're a senior and you're looking for a one-stop shop, mm -hmm. basically, where you can go and have lots of funds, um, let's talk about some of the classes and starting with fitness because seniors mm -hmm. want to stay fit as well. Yeah. Exactly, and we at uh, Donaldson Station, we're very big on fitness. We have a lots of exercise classes, but we also have fitness rooms mm -hmm. where individuals can come in and figure out a workout program for themselves, um, either on the ellipticals and treadmills or some weight uh, resistance mm -hmm. um, machines. Yeah. So uh, the classes, everything from low impact aerobics to the ones who may not be as um, uh, active, um, to a strength training class that is kind of vicious sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. But also Zumba, which is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. And um, we have uh, two different yoga classes, a meditation yoga class and a regular yoga class as well. So really, truly something for everyone in the area of uh, exercise. Yeah. For sure. And, and I talked about that, uh, of course, exercise, but for anybody who would, likes working with their hands mm -hmm. and, and wants to get involved mm -hmm. with maybe mm -hmm. some arts and crafts projects, mm -hmm. I know you offer lots of things, is in, including jewelry making we uh, classes. We have a partnership with, with the Middle Tennessee Gem and Mineral Society. Uh, they provide classes there, usually about 30 classes per quarter. Um, everything from lapidary, which is taking stones, rocks basically, and polishing those and creating beautiful stones to go into um, jewelry pieces. Mm -hmm. Working with silver and different metals and um, fastening then those pieces together. So some wonderful, and we have just a lineup of people trying to get yeah. into the, a lot of those classes. I can so. just imagine. And we also have art classes in uh, as well. Yeah. So people who are more traditional, um, canvas and, and uh, paint brushes. And do those types of classes as well. So a little something for everyone. It definitely. just definitely sounds like it. And I think, Jamie, a lot of people may not realize the Larry Keaton Theater, um, it, 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 it's a part of the Senior Center mm -hmm. for the Arts. Right. And so there's a wonderful theater that people are able to go to um, that they may not know about. Talk about, for those people who, who have not heard of the Larry Keaton Theater or may not be familiar with it, the types of shows and the types of productions okay, that Okay, I, I would love to. We are actually currently moving into to our 14th season, wow. if you can believe that. And it started off as the Nashville Dinner Theater. This was way back when, and it has kind of transformed into, it came out of the Senior Center for the Arts, they renamed it. And then they dedicated the name, the Larry Keaton Theater, to a longtime community servant, Larry Keaton. You may or may not know him, he's had Dick's Flowers, he's been around forever, yeah. and he's been involved with 50 Ford for quite a long time. He's, um, I think, serves on the Metro Arts uh -huh. Commission, and he's just an arts, um, passionate, very passionate man about the arts, and he's done a a lot for the theater so we named him 2010 I believe it was and they have progressed from small little amateur uh, talent shows into what we do today is six full productions oh. we have I know and we they we go from one to the next to roll uh -huh. and we just closed um, guys and dolls and we're starting our rehearsal for nonsense tonight actually oh, wow. <laughs> so, yes yeah so we do six shows and then between that to we have uh, we started the Larry Keaton live concert series this year I've not heard about oh that. yeah this is exciting we have, um, we're trying to put, create um, some energy in Donaldson that's mm -hmm. not just a sleepy little community. It is the next wave of progression and um, cultivation for the Nashville, Middle Tennessee area. And we're trying to become a hub for music in and of itself. So we have, we had Blues Night, we had um, the Country Music Night with some brand new faces, new artists. Mm -hmm. We've got the community, Nashville Community Band, July 10th starting as well. And it's, um, tickets are um, at, at present, they're $8.10 and we're looking to try to we're trying to fit those in between our productions so we're just trying to generate new interest and energy and be a full service musical theater is uh -huh. what we primarily do we actually are going back to our roots a little bit and we're doing our first straight show in a long time meaning straight just you know play <laughs> <laughs> just had to clarify <laughs> and, um, and it's a 
play by Beth Henley called the Miss Firecracker Contest, which oh, is a yeah. southern. She's a southern writer, and she's um, well, she's won Tony. She's a great writer, and we're trying to offer something for people that aren't necessarily. We have a lot of people that love the musicals. We have many season ticket holders, yeah. but people are like, oh, we want a straight show. It's like, well, okay, well, let's do one. So we're gonna do that. And oh, I love we it. have fun. We we are um, we're community theater, but we produce professional quality theater. Yes, we really do. We have people on that stage who are professionals are trying to woodshed and just kind of work on their craft uh -huh. and we have amateurs that come on and, and they're newbies and um, the reason I got involved was yeah. my daughter when she was eight years old we got cast in a show and I thought well if I'm gonna be here because I used to do this a long time ago uh, but I thought well if I'm gonna drive it was that mom thing I thought well I'll get involved and then my relationship with um, the Keaton Theater just kind of progressed from there and I've been there ever since and I love that little theater and I say yeah. we're the little theater that could I we know. are it's, it's great it's a great place to I be. I love your enthusiasm, too, Jamie. I well. just want to see you be a part of a show. Well, okay. <laughs> Come on. So many great things going on. Uh, 50 Ford and, of course, the Larry Keene Theater. We're going to talk more. Uh, we've got to take a break first, and we'll be back right after this. <laughs> <laughs>